Hello YouTube, this is Melissa and today I am sharing uh, an idea uh, for using up that scrap piece of basic gray paper. Um, I used it on my last layout and since it's super old I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it used up and rather than put it back in my stash. So what you see me doing here is showing the products that I used, um, mostly die cuts. But with still having the products on my desk, I didn't have to pull anything really. So I went ahead and cut the remaining piece of that pattern paper scrap into four A2 size pieces and ran the frame, rectangle frame uh, die through my Big Shot. And you can see that it, you know, cuts with a little frame there. You put it wherever you want. And then I went and used some craft paper and recut that frame. And so the easiest way for me to do uh, good alignment is to go ahead and put the centerpiece in first. And I hold it in place with a binder clip. That way it makes it easy for me to line up. So now I'm just using some multi-matte medium because it dries clear and adding the craft cut frame, doing like an inlaid die cut style background. It's just a fun way to frame out. Uh, I originally saw this on YouTube, someone's card, I want to say it was Nicole Spore, and I loved it. So I went ahead and ordered it from Simon Says Stamp. Uh, you saw me share in the beginning the paper, or the roses, those were from Paper Smooches, and that's just a really fun die. I get a lot of use out of that. And so you saw me do the little tiny frame and now I'm adding the outside piece and once that's dry I'll go ahead and trim off the edges to make it all evened out because I don't know about you but my cutting isn't always even. <laughs> okay so while that's drying you'll, I'm going to show you what the die cuts look like. I cut them from a burgundy and an artichoke green from my stash and there is the mulberry paper that I pulled out for my last layout. I went ahead and glued it the die cuts to the mulberry paper, cut them out with my scissors, and that's what you see there. Um, and I also cut that Celebrate with some gold cardstock from my stash, and that's a waffle flower die. And you see here I'm using some cool tack. That's actually just a clear dimensional sticker type product. You can get that uh, Hobby Lobby and online retailers, um, but I'm just cutting teeny tiny little pieces off and the only f item I'm going to dimensionalize on this card is that big rose. And because it's clear, you can't see it through the mulberry paper, uh, which I like. The also the other fun thing about the mulberry paper is it's, you know, very subtle, so you can still um, maybe not read the pattern paper, the basic gray pattern paper in the background, but it's, you know, still see-through. It's very... Um, and translucent, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, trying to get my die cuts situated on my card and start assembling. This card came together relatively quickly once you have all the pieces cut and ready to roll. I actually made four cards. Um, yeah, and they just went into my stash. These are birthday cards. I stamped a birthday sentiment on the inside. So I have them on hand for some upcoming birthdays for some girlfriends. And like I mentioned, that pattern paper got used completely and I was happy to get it out of my stash. It's super duper old. So if ever you're doing layouts or other projects, um, it's always fun and it's a great idea to, while everything's out and if it's something you don't want to put back and you don't want to throw out because you love it, um, yeah, feel, I mean, I, Make a card, make some tags, make other projects with it quick while it's out, and that way you don't have to put it away. This was easy cleanup for me. And, you know, the mulberry paper was fun because I hadn't used it in years. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, so right now you see me just using some uh, Zots glue dots and adhering my die cut elements and just not pressing everything down just yet, except I just did right now, but I was just getting things situated. So now I'm using some multi-matte medium, and I am going to glue down this Celebrate die cut. 
And like I mentioned, that is just a gold cardstock from my stash, probably from Michael's or something. You can buy single sheets or other smaller cut-up sheets, but I have a lot of gold cardstock for holidays and whatnot in my stash. So I'm going to make sure this is straight, and I will put a clear acrylic block on it for a minute or two to let it set. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to go ahead and go into my sequins stash and I'm going to pull out some gold sequins. And I just pull out some random ones in a couple different sizes and I'm going to adhere those with my Zots glue dots. I have the micro in the small and just place them kind of randomly, you know. And then, um, yeah. So they'll actually, before I forget, I would love if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And also, um, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll have my social media links in the description box below. There'll be a close-up of this card at the end of the video as well. And yeah, like I said, this was just a super fun way to add four cards to my stash. And I have a lot of girlfriends that I send birthday cards to and family members, so. So it's nice to have this dress away from me to having all these ready. So, all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually adhere this um, card front onto a base. I'm just using like a very vanilla cardstock from Stampin' Up. I usually, because I don't cut my paper perfectly straight, I'll go ahead and chop the top off here. And then once I get it adhered onto the card, I'll go ahead and trim off any excess from the sides and or the bottom if it needs it. I always just flip it upside down so my tops are lined up and I have the Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer which um, is not on my desk so I'm thinking about using my little one but decided to use my big one. And that's it. So I'm just you know fluffing up some of the die cuts and yeah Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back soon with another video. All right. Have a great week.